Good morning, and welcome to day 123, northbound on the Appalachian Trail. Woohoo! <laughs> I've got Vanessa, who dropped us off, the wonderful little blue hostel owner. We're so lucky, and my niece, and my beautiful godchild. And we have Spark from Madrid, who spent the night with us, and we had a wonderful evening. And... Um, me and Micah, we got our full packs, we got our resupply, and we are ready to rock and roll into Connecticut. Connecticut! Yay! We're going to walk over there and uh, show you the Connecticut border. Here we go. You're basically Sorry. walking home. And I'm you're walking getting home. There. I you're know. Getting there, so. Oh my gosh, let's do it. <laughs> let's go. Wow. Okay. What does it say? It says, welcome to Connecticut, gateway to New England. What do you think, Micah? We're getting home. We're walking home. Here we are. <laughs> Come. That's great. Yay. We're walking home. Yay. So good. <laughs> well, Connecticut is beautiful so far and that's a part of the Housatonic River, right there. And I guess we're in Connecticut. Bye bye, New York. I loved you. You were beautiful. And I got to spend lots of time with Vanessa. So that made it even more special. So thank you again, Vanessa, for helping me across from New York to Connecticut. You were unbelievable. And I'm so grateful to call you my niece and godchild. I love you. And it's so nice we don't have to ford this river. <laughs> we have a beautiful bridge here to walk over. Okay, Micah, we're gonna go up, up, up. And I think these stairs are steep, but I'm sure Micah can do it. You got it, buddy? That a boy. Can you come on up? Oh, maybe not. Maybe with his pack. Okay, I'll give you a hand. He was fine. He just needed a little boost in the popo. <laughs> we just gave you a little popo boost, huh, Micah? He had no problem. Wow. This is an absolutely beautiful bridge. Look at this river. And there's a deer, wow, in the middle of the river. I don't know if you could see it. It's just kind of deciding where it wants to go. Interesting. Wow. Huh. Oh, that was a beautiful bridge. Yep, gorgeous on a beautiful day. All right, well, we're in Connecticut, so you know what that means. <laughs> new state, new song. <laughs> I know a spot, peaceful and fair. I'd be so happy now that I'm there. <laughs> and if you have a chance to see, Connecticut is the place to be. Miss, I love every lake. Love every hill, even in dreams I think of them still. And when you see it, you'll agree. 
Connecticut is the place to be. Village scenes, village greens, and childhood scenes. I think about them as of yet. Moonlight streams and land of dreams. How close to heaven can you get? Nights full of stars, hearts full of joy. Paradise for a girl and her dog. <laughs> And when you see it, you'll agree. Connecticut is the place for me to be. Connecticut is the place for me. <laughs> if you want to hear a really nice rendition of that song without some of the liberties I took, <laughs> um, Judy Garland and Bing Crosby do a great version of that, a great duet. There's more to it, more to it, but I'll spare you. I hope you're having a great Monday. Yeah, this is so pretty. We've just been, after we crossed over the bridge, we've been to the left of the river and just kind of going up and down little uh, hills, little knolls here, but we've got the river on our right the whole time so we can hear it. And it's, uh, it's really beautiful. Plenty of trees here to keep us shaded. It's gonna be a hot one today. We hear it may hit 90, but uh, you know, here in the green tunnel, it's definitely a little cooler. So, um, you know, we're gonna be respectful of the weather. I have two, ch two choices today in terms of mileage. There's a shelter, well, we just passed a shelter, but we just, obviously not gonna stay there because there, because we just started. It's, still morning. Um, we have a shelter at 12 miles and we have another one at 19. My guess is we're probably going to stop at the 12 mile one because of the heat. Not so much for me, but for Micah. I really want to keep my eye on him. He's doing great. And let's face it, I don't want to, I want to, don't want to push it. So we'll see when we get to the shelter at 12, we'll assess what time it is. We'll assess how we're feeling. We'll assess how Mike is doing. And we'll make a decision from there. And Spark is behind me. She was in front of me, but then she stopped to take a break and eat her pizza left over from last night. <laughs> so she's much faster than me. And significantly younger. So I told her I was going to go ahead, but she'll probably catch up. I'm not sure what she's doing tonight. My guess is she's probably going to do the 19, but that's totally up to her. Um, I really enjoyed spending some time with her. Uh, she's a real gem. So, and a really strong hiker. So it's wonderful to have that camaraderie. Okay, well, we got a big climb up ahead. I can see this big cliff we're going up. I don't know if you can t tell. Probably doesn't look steep from you, from where you are, but where I am it is, and with a heavy pack on my back, it is. <laughs> Full resupply. So yeah, we got, we're heavy, and I've got some of Micah's food too. All right, check with you later. Oh, we were sitting down with Mother Trucker and Crazy Train a little while ago and uh, she graciously gave me another Gatorade and uh, and Spark came by too and then it was time to move on and we've been climbing, 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 climbing. Very steep, very hot, uh, very beautiful up here. Just got to the summit and uh, wow, look at those mountains, incredible. Another beautiful vista up here in Connecticut. Lovely. This is actually just a little blue blaze off this 
off the AT, only about less than 0.1. So I wanted to check it out. Really nice. I made it to the Algo shelter. So it was 12.3 12, 12 miles, um, plenty for today. Very, very hot. Um, and uh, Mike is doing fine. I just, uh, no reason to do 19. And frankly, I don't really want to do 19. <laughs> so 13 is, or 12.3 is enough, enough for today. Anyway, great place. There's lots of places to tent. I just um, sent a text to Spark to tell her that there's plenty of places to tent here. She took a little break um, and was lying down. I think the heat was a little bit much for her today, but uh, she's doing okay. And that's where I'm gonna put my tent. And the water source is just down here. Nice uh, river. That's more, more like a creek. And I'm gonna go down and wash out my shirt and wash my face and set up my tent. And uh, yeah, drink lots of water. <laughs> Anyway, hope you're all having a great Monday. Yeah, so I set up right there. I didn't put the fly on right now because it's a warm evening. I might put it on before bed, but right now I just set up the um, inside part of the tent uh, with the screen there so no bugs can get in, although it doesn't seem buggy either. It's actually a beautiful evening. And I did get a text from Spark who said that she's on her way. Um, she just sat down and sat by uh, on the mountain there for a while probably and she said she talked to her friend for a long time. So she's just taking the time. And so far it's just me and Micah, Micah and I. And we are all set up here and we're gonna cook dinner and chill out. And for tonight's dinner we have <laughs> good to go brand mushroom risotto, one of my favorites. Um, I had such a big burrito with uh, turkey, ground turkey in it for lunch that I definitely got my protein fill. Um, sorry about that. And ramen, curry chicken with, of course, peanut butter in the noodles. So that's going to be my dinner. So I'm sitting here at the um, picnic table cooking my dinner. And... I'm just looking at these beautiful, beautiful hemlock trees. Look how big they are, look how tall. And it really, really, really feels like home. I know I'm in Connecticut, I know I'm in New England. It really feels like New England. There's lots of deciduous trees, a few birches, but mostly hemlocks. Big, tall hemlocks just reaching to the sky. And it's a really beautiful evening.